Hey beauties, I'm Adri Monet. Welcome to my channel. This is my very first YouTube video and I'll be giving a quick tutorial on my everyday makeup routine, which usually takes me 15 to 20 minutes. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below. Let's get started. I have already cleansed and moisturized my skin using my Mary Kay Time Wise Miracle Set and I followed that up with my Maybelline Master Primer for hydration and smoothness. For a simple everyday makeup look, I use Maybelline's Fit Me Matte Foundations in shades 332 and 334. In the winter months, I'm usually a lot paler, so I definitely use more of the 332 shade. And I add a little bit of the 334 to make sure I'm not too light. And we're going to blend that all over my face and into my neck area. I really like this foundation because it's, for one, super affordable, and it also provides a decent amount of coverage. I definitely prefer a matte look, um, so that's why I go over my foundation with my CoverGirl Translucent Powder. I use the Translucent Light shade. I love using LA Girl Pro Concealer for my under eye highlighting, uh, my nose area, right in the middle of my forehead. It is a really good concealer. It provides a really decent amount of coverage. I am using the light ivory shade. Using my damp beauty sponge, I basically dab 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 just in that t-zone area making sure i'm blending my concealer out into my foundation but i'm also making sure i'm not pressing too hard i don't want to disrupt the foundation underneath but i'm des definitely blending out in each direction Now I'm going to take one of my smaller brushes in the same CoverGirl translucent powder I used before and I'm just going to bake the area of the concealer basically to make sure that all the areas that you've highlighted and concealed are there to stay. So if you get your face wet throughout the day or if you cry, the area is going to stay a little bit longer the longer you bake. So uh, you can also do that with your beauty sponge. You don't necessarily have to use a brush. Now, while I'm baking, I'm gonna go ahead and start my contouring. I have a really big forehead, you guys. I got a five head. So I do a lot of contouring, contouring on my head. I'm using, once again, a Maybelline product. It's the Fit Me Matte Poreless Powder in shade 362, the truffle shade. And I'm just going basically in all of those shadowy areas of your face to contour and make your face seem a little bit thinner than what it truly is. And now I'm going back into my highlighted areas and I'm removing the excess powder that I used to bake. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose using the same brush i don't really spend a whole lot of time contouring my nose um i don't usually snatch my nose that's how they would say it um, unless i'm really going somewhere really super duper important or somewhere really special like a, a really nice date night or just really going out on the town um so i just do a light contour to my nose and not, not bringing it in too much now, as you can see, my contoured areas and my highlighted areas really stand out, and you definitely don't want that to be seen. So I'm going in with my MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish Powder uh, in the tone Dark Deepest to just kind of bring that highlighted area and darker contoured area together so that everything comes together, flows together, and looks more natural. Okay. 
Okay, I am applying blush to my cheekbones. Uh, I believe this is the Florent in the shade I'm blushing. And then I'm going over my sunlit areas with a an highlighter. This is my favorite part. That sun, that look as if the sun is hitting you in the perfect spots, even when you're not outside where the sun can hit you. That is just the, my favorite part, honestly. Um, I like to add eyeliner to my eyes, especially if I'm going to wear lashes. I don't know if you guys, guys have noticed, but I have a bump above my eyelid and I don't know where it came from or it doesn't hurt. It kind of looks like a sty, but it bothers me, especially when I'm wearing my lashes. So that's another reason why I like to wear eyeliner, just to hide that bump. And when I put my lashes on, it just goes away. So brows, brows, brows. I keep it so very simple on days like this where it's just a normal, regular day. I don't give too much attention to my brows. Um, I basically just do a little bit of shaping, a little bit of shading, and I definitely don't use any concealer to shape my brows on, with my everyday makeup look. It just takes too much time, and it's just time that I don't have in the mornings. So I just do a simple natural brow and I blend it out using my spoolie. I apologize you guys, I completely forgot to tell you um, the mascara that I use for my eyelashes, which was Maybelline Falsies Volume Express. Um, I use a lot of Maybelline and NYX products, just drugstore brands because they're really affordable and you can get a really good look with these products. And I've just applied Ardell's Wispies, they're very natural looking, and now I'm applying Milani's Color Statement Rose Femme Lipstick. I love Milani's lipsticks. And now I'm going in with my NYX matte finishing spray and then I'm just going to press that into my skin using my foundation brush to finish off my look. Well guys, this is my everyday makeup routine. I'll make sure I have all these products listed below. Don't forget to like and comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you like to see from me in the future. Have a blessed day. Stay flawless and don't hesitate to flaunt your beauty, honey.